As Pakistan continues to reel under its worst ever economic crisis, its foreign minister is on a two-day visit to Moscow. Bilawal Bhutto Zardari's visit comes after understanding between both nations on the supply of crude oil to Pakistan. The foreign minister of Pakistan is expected to meet his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov this afternoon. Bilawal Bhutto Zardari is visiting Moscow at the invitation of Lavrov. Both leaders are expected to hold talks on a wide range of bilateral issues. They will exchange views on issues of mutual interest, both regional and international. According to reports, supply of Russian crude oil and gas to Pakistan will also be on the agenda. Pakistan Foreign Minister's visit comes after a high-level delegation led by Energy Minister Nikolai Shulginov to Pakistan last week. Shulginov had stated that Russia could start exporting oil to Pakistan after March. While an understanding has been reached, technical details are yet to be finalized. Meanwhile, the Pakistani government hiked petrol rates by 35 Pakistani rupees per litre. All eyes are on Bilawal's visit to Russia. It remains to be seen if he can replenish Pakistan's dwindling fortunes. And for more on this, we are now being joined live by We on Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik from Islamabad. Hi, Anas. What more do we know about the foreign minister's tour of Russia, and will it have any significance for Pakistan? Well, optically, this is very important, Eric, uh, for one very reason. We're seeing a formal engagement at the highest most level uh, when a Pakistani dignitary is visiting Russia 11 months 11 months, pardon you, that 11 months and five days later since the last visit we saw of the then Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan. He was there last year on the 24th of February and now on the 29th is when Pakistan's current incumbent Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari is visiting Russia. It's more to do with optics. Lately we've seen a lot of engagements uh, between Russia and Pakistan. There have been talks on, this, on the possible supply of deferred oil payments as well or gas from Russia that's still in the works. Uh, we, what we understand that some MOUs will be done. But the interesting bit is the Russian foreign ministry statement which states that talks will be held on regional issues including very precisely on Afghanistan, Syria and the issue of Ukraine. Remember on the issue of Ukraine, Pakistan has not taken any side. It has not openly called out <coughs> Russia against the invasion of Ukraine either. So therefore, it's going to be really interesting as to whatever uh, Pakistan's stance or Pakistan's foreign minister has to say to his Russian counterpart. Eric? Anas Malik, what's the state of the country's economy at this moment? Has the government implemented more measures and how is it addressing this cash crunch problem? Well, more taxes are to be imposed, and new two new tax bills are to be uh, are to be uh, put, laid before the parliament as well, uh, because we are in a tax deficit right now. Uh, Pakistan had promised the IMF that it would be collecting 855 billion Pakistani rupees under taxes, and in pa in the past six months they've just done a little over 200, 200 billion so another 655 mi uh, billion pakistani rupees under taxes is to be collected so we would be looking at imposition of more and more taxes that, that is number one a reflection of what we saw just 24 hours back when petroleum prices were drastically raised by 35 pakistani rupees and we're expecting another hike now, on the 9th of February tonight. The IMF mission is all set to arrive here in Islamabad. Uh, tomorrow is when they begin their formal negotiations. A high-level government team is to negotiate with the IMF. And they believe, the government is hopeful, that they will be able to secure that 1 billion tranche that, is, uh, that, is, uh, that has been long pending on the part of the IMF. But the IMF insists the Pakistan, that Pakistani side certainly has to do more in order to, to, in order to get that tranche. So the government says or believes or hopes that they have done enough and they are hopeful of securing that tranche. Eric? Live from Islamabad, our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik. Anas Malik, thank you. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.